So for this next section, what we're going to do is we're going to create a projectile coming from the character, uh, which we're going to make move across the level. It shouldn't be too difficult to do. Uh, what we'll also do is we'll add a little bit of scaling to it um, as well. So when it it is fired, it kind of emerges from the fist. Uh, so what we want to do first is we're going to open up our hitbox. So I've got it set up so it can't rotate and, it, it, and it's not affected by gravity. That way it'll fly in a straight line. Uh, and what we want to do is we're going to create ourselves a new event. And we're going to say when we created, we're going to move this actor across the level. So let's set that to, I don't know, 20 or something like that. Um, and yeah, other than that, in here what we need to do is we're going to set the scale to a very, very low number the moment it's created. And then after a, that period of time, what we're going to do is after a fraction of a second, we're going to increase the. Spin over there a sec. We're going to increase its scale to 100% over about half a second. After which, we're going to kill the character. Sorry, kill the um, the hitbox. And then the only other thing we need to do with this is we need to, in the code we have for getting our character to punch, we want to create ourselves a new actor. Now this actor is going to be the hitbox that we were talking about. Uh, so we want to create this at the X and Y of our character, of our upper torso, I'll keep that in mind. So literally just click and click and drag that into place. To X center and Y center. Uh, and I would probably create it at the back and that way it'll, in fact, no, in, in, in the final thing that we produce, we'll, we'll put it at the back for, but for the purposes now of seeing where it's been created, we'll keep it at the front. So what we should see is the hitbox flying out of the front uh, and then disappearing quickly after being created. Cool. So it looks like it could still do with a little bit of tweaking and refinement to get into the right position, but it looks like we've got the basics there. Uh, uh, one of the main things that we're going to want to do is let's get our, yeah, let me see, let's put down our opponent, or at least his upper torso, and what we're going to do is we're going to do the trigger event for getting it to, uh, getting it to react to being hit. Um, but first, the I feel like this could do with being a little bit quicker. Yep, and I'm going to increase the speed there. I'm just going to shorten this all a little, down a, just a little bit. Okay. So now the, the main thing that we're going to want to do next is we want to sort out the collisions. Uh, and at the moment, what we're, the only thing that we're going to make happen when our character dies is we're going to enable, we're going to um, essentially have the enemy's gravity for its upper torso disabled. So it'll uh, fall, fall off of the level. So we're going to go to add event collisions. We're going to create a new actor of, sorry, we're going to create a new collision between an two actors. So if self hits 
the box um the box at top of of the box of two that is what we're going to do is bear with me just a moment we're going to enable gravity for the 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 box at top remember that so don't uh, apply it to the hitbox because otherwise that'll just fall off of the level uh, and we need to remember to kill the actual hitbox when it's when it hits the uh, opponent uh, and yeah that should theoretically work um, now I purposely left it so the uh, legs can continue to move once it's been killed because I think it looks quite funny um, it's up to you whether you want to have the, the legs also be removed but uh, for the sake of this tutorial the lower legs are still going to be movable. So if we just test this, there you go. So that's how you get your boxer to launch a projectile and essentially take out an opponent's legs. Uh, now, if you're wanting to, you might have noticed that the um, shooting point of the of the boxer is kind of slightly lower than what it should be. If you're wanting to refine that number to kind of get it to be aligned to the right point, what you could do is rather than just relying on X center and Y center coordinates, what you could do is go in and do a little bit of fine uh, kind of tweaking. So if you go into your numbers and text category, what you could do is find a number of self um, portion of code and that would allow you to choose a kind of specific coordinate or at least uh, deduct a certain coordinate off of the amount that you're uh, setting as the position so I'm gonna I've noticed it's slightly lower than what it should be so I'm gonna deduct 8 off of the, uh, the its position and this might not be right but it's it's just a matter of kind of refining it until you find the right value um, yeah and other other than that um, what I'll be doing in between this and the next tutorial is I'll just be applying the same chunk of code to the other character the only thing that you're gonna want to factor in is making sure that the the attributes X and Y sorry oh um, with with regards to this chunk of code here and where are we hitbox this chunk of code here make sure that you just apply it to the opposite character rather than itself as, as in what you don't want is the player one sorry the player two hitbox when it hits the box of two uh, for it to kill itself because otherwise the moment that the second boxer starts punching and launching those projectiles it's going to immediately kill itself um, so let's see if this worked. And let's just see if see that looks a lot a lot better in its location. Um, what we also might want to do, uh, I'm going to do is like some tweaking and refining. Um, you can notice that there's like a maybe a half like a very small gap in between here and here where there's no projectile. That is about uh, 0.1 of a second's worth of time where it's remaining at the size that it was created at. So we probably want to make, where are we? Uh, that initial value a lot smaller, that first initial delay. Um, the reason we put this delay in, in the first place is because we want to make sure that it doesn't run these two pieces of code at once because uh, otherwise it'll just remain at 100%, which isn't something we don't want. So I'll give this a quick test just to see if this has made a, good, a big difference. And after that, that's pretty much where we're going to wrap up this video from here. Uh, and then in the next video, we're going to run through um, getting a health manager set up and uh, linking that to the health bars at the top of the screen. Um, so yeah, let's see if this works. 
So you can see that's a, a lot closer than it was before. And we've got the character falling off of the screen, which is great. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out for the next video.